Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to replace the batteries on these Braun activator electric shavers, rechargeable shavers. Now these, this one is model 8781 but they're all the same. This all Braun activators and similar models uh, basically are taken apart and the batteries replaced the same way. And uh, remember that uh, the batteries are soldered to a, pr a PC board, circuit board. So you can't basically go buy the batteries from Braun or from any place. They're built so the way so that if, the, if, if it goes bad, you simply throw it away. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to throw it away. We want to repair it. Uh, they're very expensive. This is over $200 new. So it's not really wise to just throw it away because it doesn't work. And here's how we do it. Okay, so, so this unit uh, doesn't work uh, with batteries, but it does work with the power cord as I plug it in, works like a charm. Okay, but we want it to be, char to be able to charge it. Now, like I said, they don't sell the batteries for these. So yeah, I have to use regular rechargeable uh, metal uh, lithium, metal hydrate or lithium ion. Let's see which one is this. Is this lithium ion? Uh, no, this one is the nickel metal hydrate. Okay, so they're this. I mean, the lithium ion is a little more expensive, but they're both rechargeable. You could use either or. Uh, I have replaced the batteries on these once, and uh, it was pretty successful. It worked for another five years. This is about ten years old. So when I replaced the battery, work worked for another five years, and uh, now it's has given up on me and it doesn't work anymore. So before you take it apart, make sure that it's unplugged and make sure to remove the grill because this is the most expensive part. And also the little slider, you have to remove that. First thing you need to do is you take a flat screwdriver and remove the bottom, just like that. It just snaps open. Once it's snapped open, the le right and left sides will simply open this way, watch. Just like that, simple as that. Okay, put these aside, put all of these aside. Now we have four screws. The four screw requires uh, the number nine uh, torque uh, head to open. Let me see if I had, have that. Let's see. Okay, so this is the one you need, uh, this shape, it's number nine. You could open it with your hand, they're not that difficult. Uh, but you could use one of these guys if you wanted to, but you know. But I'm going to do it with my hand because they're not so hard to open. Okay, once you remove it, it just comes off like this. Set it aside. So basically these are all the parts that I have uh, taken apart. Okay, now. It's going to be nasty inside. So this is this is not for the faint hearted someone who gets like disgusted because these are all hair particles inside. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be disgusting, but you know, there is no surgery that's not disgusting. All right. So anyway, so you this is a composed of two components, the electrical circuit board with batteries, uh, which is this, and the mechanical circuit board which has a motor and all the moving components. So the motor and moving components is no problem. So you set this aside. This is where you're going to be dealing with. Now we need to uh, solder two new batteries here and just solder this one. This battery was soldered five years ago. Now the batteries, when you, these are uh, uh, you know rechargeable batteries. They're not actually designed to be heated too much. If you heat them too much, they will explode. So you have to be very quick when you solder so the battery don't get too hot. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I will be very quick. And you have to use low temperature solder. Remember, you have to use a very low temperature solder. You have to have, have enough rosin, which is uh, for soldering. And uh, this is a, you know, the writings are, have, you know, rubbed off. But this is one of my very low temperature soldering uh, uh, wires. And I'm going to use that. First, I'm going to remove this. Make sure to see. We, see, I have already marked plus and minus. But if you, uh, it's not marked from factory. This is the one I marked plus and minus when I replaced these batteries the first time. So I'm going to heat it up. 
we will see. Now, this battery is dead, but it still has the potential to explode. So, it does not mean because the battery is dead, so I am all ok to you know uh, overheat it or anything like that. So, there you go, I, did, I removed, now I need to, it is kind of taped, uh, glued to the bottom. So, you have to lift it and heat up the back. and the first one came off ok. The second one same way you heat up the positive very quickly do not spend too much heat on that or time because if you spend too much time heating it up the battery will explode like I said and this one bingo both batteries came off these are both defective batteries we want two new batteries now first Make sure you have some solder on this because it will not take solder if you uh, do not have solder there originally. Ok, so now see how the edges took but the center did not that is because I need to file it a little bit. So, you need to use like some kind of a filing technique so you do not have to heat up the battery too much ok. I am going to file it with this little razor. You could have the actual filing but, uh, tool, but since I do not, I am going to use the razor. See, the surface of the metal is usually oxidized. So, when you rub off the surface, you get to the part where it is not oxidized, and when it is not oxidized, it is much easier for the solder to stick to it, ok no rocket science very very simple there you go the solder stuck to it very easily I am going to do the same thing on the back side so I do not have to overheat it do not overheat I keep saying that do not overheat these That is enough, that is it. Less than one second you have to leave it. Ok. So, now we are going to put some solder here, then we are going to solder it with this. That is it, less than a second. Solder is done. If you reach 2 3 seconds the battery will explode on you so keep that in mind I keep telling you do not let it run for long that was less than a second too okay let me I have a little solder sticking to that there you go ok, the second battery let us now these batteries that I am using they do not necessarily the batteries that you are buying they can be any double A rechargeable battery uh, they have to be double A nickel metal hydrate or lithium ion uh, so nickel metal hydrate or lithium do not use uh, nickel, uh, alkaline batteries or carbon batteries because they do not have the charging capability they will simply explode if they were subject to charging ok one second to put solder there no more than a second now my, my uh, soldering iron is heated to uh, 600 degrees one second there you go now we are going to solder it here there you go one second and then we are going to solder it here same thing one second ok. So, this one was two seconds because I had to do it again it did not stick very well, but did not go over the two second time period you saw that. Now, they are nice and tight because not only that they are soldered from both edges they are also glued at the bottom. 
So now I'm going to reassemble this puppy and it should operate without having to plug it in. No need to plug it in. Okay, there you go. Let's put this puppy in. Remember the four screws, I never took them out. So it's right where they belong. Okay. Let's tie the screws. Tie them in. Tie the second screw. Oops. Tie the fourth screw. And the fifth screw, or last, no, actually, this is the fourth screw, not the fifth. It doesn't have five screws. All it has is four screws. Okay, so it's all done. Now I'm going to put these sides back in. The sides slide up first, and then snap in. This is from the wrong side. There you go. Okay, slide you put the top first, slide it up, and then snap it in. Now, you have to put this back in. There you go. Then, you put the center coil back in. Now, you put the cover back in. Now, it should work without uh, having to plug in. But, of course, those batteries are new, so they're not charged. Of course, it's not going to work. Because the batteries are brand new. So let it charge, charge, I'm, I let it charge for, for a minute or so, and see what's going to happen. There you go. It's charging. Okay, there, so you could see it moving. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Very simple, plain and easy. Now, this is, a, this is a procedure that saves you a lot of money because to buy another one of these is like $200. And uh, just changing the battery gives it another five years. Uh, now I'm going to be buying a new coil for it and I'm good for another five years or so. And why this came to, to, uh, to my mind is I was using the regular shaver and I hit my nose right here. Right here. I had my nose shaving my mustache. <laughs> Figure that out. So I said, you know what? I need to repair my electric shaver again because there, no, there is no cutting business with these puppies. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.